Time for us to head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. This one about this year's team. Hi, I'm a first-time caller. I'm a big Cleveland fan over the years. Just starting to watch you guys about six months ago to really enjoy the show. Here's my question in regards to the Cavaliers, who are really looking good. Is it uh, fair to compare this Cavs team with the Cavs teams of the 80s and 90s? where you had uh, Mark Price, Craig Elo, Hot Rod Williams, Nance, and Doherty. I mean, Garland, Okoro, Markinen, Mobley, Allen. If you match those guys up with the uh, the older team, boy, it sounds like the same team on paper. Just would like to hear your thoughts and uh, be watching the show soon. No Michael Jordan now either. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. No Michael Jordan, yeah. Um uh, Chris, I covered that team, and um, you know what? It's absolutely fair. The thing I'll say about this year's team, they're younger. Um, remember, a lot of those guys went to four years, you know, Price went to four years of college, Doherty went to two or three. Um, these guys are babies. You know, they're, they're two, three years younger. Um, and the thing that was, people loved that team. They were just really good guys that ran into some nasty guys from uh, Detroit that played the, the game a little differently. The Knicks as well. It was a different NBA back then. Um, a lot of fans that followed that Cavs team wanted the Cavs to be a little nastier. But, yeah, I think it's a fair comparison. I, you know, when I heard that, I'm like, I see the pieces there. Yeah, I certainly understand where he's coming from. And the other thing that stands out is just the joy that this group plays with and the joy that that team played with as well. These guys like playing with each other. You could see it with Jetty Osman and Kevin Love in the fourth quarter against Indiana yesterday. You could see it when Darius is throwing lobs to Jared Allen and Evan Mobley. You can see it on the bench. Dave, this team stands for almost the entire game on the bench, no matter the score, no matter how close it is. In fact, Colin Sexton and Darius Garland, during this recent road trip in Houston, they got yelled at by Houston security for standing up too long and blocking the view of some of the spectators sitting courtside because they were just supporting their team and they were encouraging their team, whether they're playing or not, it doesn't matter. So you can see that joy, just like you saw that joy from those other teams. And the thing that I always say, Dave, about comparisons, like I get it. Some people don't like when you go lofty with it, right? Sometimes people don't like when I say Evan Mobley is a cross between Kevin Garnett and Chris Bosch. But the truth is, these calves and Mobley specifically, they force you to go to some of these places with these comparisons, right? Because of the way that they play and because of the success that they have, it doesn't seem as outlandish. 